Welcome to the feature clip on the new cockpit templates in SAP Business One, release 9.3. The HANA cockpit provides users with a centralised view and the tools for administering and monitoring relevant KPIs and the health of their business. The HANA cockpit can be individualised into different views, including different widgets based on your role in the organisation. There are four new cockpit templates available for sales, purchasing, finance and inventory. Users have the ability to create their own cockpit templates, providing they have the authorization. These user-defined templates can be saved in the system and published to be made available to other users. Users can select the available cockpit templates via the folder icon and choose from the Select Templates list. This gives the user more flexibility to categorise the widgets in different groups, which they may need for general daily business. This is very useful for test purposes with the ability to create different views and publish only the relevant views in your company database. The new cockpit templates can be published to all users, but this can be done only via users which have the relevant authorization. In the user group's definition, there is a possibility to assign one cockpit template to each user group by default. This gives companies the ability to create and manage templates centrally. Let's have a look at several business case scenarios. In the HANA cockpit, Jason Butler from OEC Computers has the possibility to select different cockpit views, such as sales, purchasing, finance and inventory, and any user-created template views. Jason would like to create a new cockpit template and publish this cockpit template via the Cockpit Management Setup window to make it available for the other company users. As a super user, Jason would like to assign the cockpit template to the user group Sales and add user Kate to this group to see how the template assignment is working. Let's have a look at these business scenarios in SAP Business One 9.3. I am now logged in to SAP Business One as the super user Jason Butler, and this is my current HANA cockpit view. Jason has the possibility to select a different cockpit, and to do this, he clicks on the folder icon, and then from the Select Templates list, is able to select a template, and in this case, he's going to select the Sales template. The system now simply changes his view into the Sales cockpit view. He can work in this view and has the possibility to edit the cockpit template view or he can go back to his standard cockpit view by simply clicking on the arrow on the left hand side. Jason would like to enhance the sales cockpit template. Once he has selected his sales cockpit template view, he now has the possibility to add new widgets, remove existing ones or reorganise the sizes and positions of the widgets. And then he can save this as a newly created cockpit template view. In this case, he would like to add another widget called Top 5 Sales Employees by Sales Amount. And he would also like to change the size of the existing dashboard. So to do this, he selects the Edit button. And to add a widget, he simply selects Plus Sign. The widgets that currently have a green arrow selected means that they currently exist in his cockpit template view. Jason would like to select the top five sales employees by sales amount. Once he has selected the widgets he would like to add to his view, he can simply navigate back to his sales cockpit template. As you can see, the new widget has been added to the view and he can simply increase or decrease the size of his cockpit widget accordingly. Once he is happy with the layout of his cockpit, he selects the confirmation button. The system provides two possibilities. Jason can update his own cockpit by clicking on update my cockpit, or he can save it as a template. Jason would like to save the cockpit as a new template, so he selects save as template. He then needs to rename his template, which he's going to call enhanced sales. 
hit version one. Jason would now like to publish this newly created template. And to do this, he goes to the Tools menu. He selects Cockpit, Cockpit Management. In the Cockpit Management Setup window, he selects the Enhanced Sales Cockpit template that he has just created, and then selects Publish. The system also gives the possibility to assign a cockpit template to a user group then the users have this cockpit view by default when they log into the system. To do this, Jason opens up the user groups window. He chooses the user group for sales and then selects the sales cockpit template that he would like to assign. He then would like to add the user Kate to his list of recipients. We are now going to log in as the user Kate. Now we are logged into the system as Kate, you can see that she's been assigned the cockpit view by default and she can now use it for her daily business requirements. Well that concludes our feature clip. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out the other feature clips highlighting SAP Business One Release 9.3.